Hey everybody, I'm super excited to be answering questions that you've written in. And if you have questions, just email us at kate at joyverts.com and my assistant Kate will weed through them all and we will answer as many as we can. So I have Danielle here who has written to me and she says, I was getting too busy for my own good so I raised my prices. Now no one is booking me. Help! I need a happy medium. Okay, Danielle, super great question and I'm sure that this is a problem that many photographers are facing. So one thing that would probably strike me is that it's very possible that when you started, you started at too low of prices and you attracted the more kind of value or budget conscious clients. And now that you realize that, and well, and you were probably spending a lot of time on those clients, which is why you were too busy. So now that you've raised your prices to accommodate your busy schedule, no one is booking you because you priced yourself out of the market that you started working with. Okay, one thing you could do, there's two ways you can fix it. You can either keep your prices high and start to market to a whole new type of clientele who are now going to um, need to value you know, a bigger price and still love the service that you're providing, or you can simply cut back on some of the time that you're spending with those clients, and that is going to help make you more profitable. Because remember, pricing is a delicate balance of the time that you spend with a client and the amount that you charge for your service, okay? If you spend a lot of time with a client and, a cl and the whole process from start to finish, the shoot, the editing, the sales, the delivery, if that is a really long process that you spend a lot of time on, you need to charge accordingly, okay? If you're not making a profit, the only way that you can change that is by charging more or spending less time, okay? Because time is money. So my advice for you, Danielle, is to either decide if you want to keep your prices a little bit higher and market towards those new prices and keep your time that you spend, or if you want to go back to your older pricing, but then trim down some of the time that you're spending with your clients. And that's assuming that that pricing will be profitable at that level, but assuming it is, you should be set to go.